hello all welcome back to our channel so students in this video we are discussing the business statistics third semester short theory questions which you can score 20 marks by watching this video so theory questions whatever you are preparing for business statistics one you can absolutely score 20 marks i have done my handwritten notes ma for the questions most repeated questions most most damn sure questions i have done the answers also so if you are watching this video completely means you can able to score 20 marks in your final examination now let's get into the video first important question is functions of statistics ma so there are different functions of statistics for four marks you need to write minimum one side but here i am writing only the main points this is the side points only inside the matter you should write it by your own okay so first word is it makes the complex data easily understandable with the help of statistics statistics will makes the data easy to understand okay so easy to understand it will represent the data in a graphical format so that it will be easy to understand for everyone okay that is the main function second one is it assists the forecasting activities forecasting activities is nothing about the prediction it will do the prediction how much sales you will get how much profit you will get how much will be your production like that it will give the forecasting activities next you are having the it will formulate theories ma. it will implement various theories in your organization to take an approximate and accurate data and accurate decision in your organization whatever the economic theories you are having it will be formulated in your businesses next fourth one it helps in decision making so with the help of statistics it will be helpful for you to take the decision in a wise way okay and the last one is it represents the graphical represent representation with the help of diagram with the help of graphs the data is represented so these are the side points inside the matter you need to write it by your own in your examination for four marks ma okay minimum one side one side of the page you need to write it okay next important question is ma limitations of statistics limitations is nothing about the disadvantages disadvantages means first one is misused statistics is misused by many people so it will be not it is one of the major disadvantage for the statistics not second one is not suitable for all so this statistics is not suitable for all the organizations its statistics will be suitable only for the selected organization so this is also one of the major disadvantage next one it cannot measure qualitative accept quality is not measurable in statistics only quantity it will take so quality is one of the main thing you need to check it in the statistics but quality is not there so that is also one of the main disadvantage next one higher cost to implement the statistics it includes so much cost to uh, implement that okay and the last one is it does not deal with individual facts individual opinion does not take statistics will not take the individual opinion it takes only the group of opinion so it is also one of the main disadvantage clear ma next you are having parts of table so there are different parts in a statistical table ma like number title head note body total subheadings comparison etc so these are the parts of table okay so this is one of the important question repeated question you are having ma okay next one next one the repeated question is diagrams versus graph so you need to write the differences between diagrams and graph see diagrams is a compar comparison purpose it is for the relationship purpose diagrams is used for like bar diagrams pi diagrams flow diagrams like that in graph it is represented as the dots dashes like dots representation we will do no like o give curve like that okay next one ma it gives the less accuracy it will gives the more accurate means more less accurate answers it will give it will give more accurate answers it is represented to diagrams it is represented to graph sheets it is difficult to task diagram is little bit difficult but graphs is easy to construct it is easy to draw okay so that is the differences between diagrams and graph this is one of the main important question okay next you are having more types of averages there are three types of average first one is mean you need to write the mean formula 
okay a means assumed value i means interval like that you need to elaborate so mean formula i have wrote second one median median is nothing about the middle value of the given observation is called median so what is the formula of median l plus n by 2 minus pcf by f into i like this only you need to write it in the examination next one mode what is meant by mode whatever the maximum frequency is called that is called mode no so what is the formula of mode l plus delta 1 divided by delta 1 plus delta 2 into i so this is the types of averages types of averages is nothing about mean median mode clear and next important question is ma correlation what is mean by correlation it is one of the major statistical tool to develop to understand the relationship between two or more variables then we will use this correlation so why it is useful it is useful to determine the relationship between variables what is the formula r is equal to sigma dx dy divided by under root sigma dx square into under root sigma dy square like this you need to write see when you are perfect in the long problematic you will able to attempt to short also even though in theory also see this are all formulas you have already learned in the long questions no ma so that's why okay and next important question is probable error probable error is nothing about once you have done the correlation it will able to test the reliability means how much error you are having what is the formula of probable error per is equal to 0.6745 this is the formula ma this is the fixed value 0.6745 into 1 minus r square divided by under root n so this is the formula of probable error it will check the reliability of the observed value and the next important question is distrust of statistics distrust means some people will not have trust in statistics why because statistics will give the wrong answers it will not give the accurate and the correct answers sometimes it will be confusing to the people it will be helpful for them to cheat the others it will helpful for them to cheat others so for this type of things many of the people will have dissatisfaction distrust of the statistics what are the reasons for it means misuse of statistics many of the people will misuse it wrong data collection i have said no ma in the previous one individual data is not required so individual data it will not be taken so data collection will be wrong only next lack of understanding many of the people will not understand this statistics next it is biased so if the people are correct opinion if the people are having 50 members if the people are having 100 numbers with wrong opinion statistics will give the biased solution with the wrong people only okay next statistics is a tough subject and it is lack of accuracy correctness will be not be there in this statistics subject okay so these are the important questions these are the eight theory questions definitely definitely you will able to attempt part eight questions with this help of eight questions okay so i hope that you have got clarity this pdf is available in our telegram group ma this is the notes i have prepared no need to pay any single rupee to me it is free of cost okay all the very best for your examination and one more thing i want to give you a suggestion that don't take any paid notes or paid membership to see the videos to to buy the notes okay so this is my humble suggestion to you all because they are making the business with your exam sphere okay so in our channel everything will be getting for free of cost notes written everything not only the subject every subject i have uploaded okay so let me know in the comment section how you felt about the explanation in this video all the very best for your examination as well as your preparation see you all in next video bye bye students